Let's talk about your forecast right now. Let's get over to Aaron, tracking some rain on the way. I know that video puts a smile on your face. Satellite and radar, maybe not so much. And we're setting up for kind of a typical April pattern where we're going to be seeing those April showers pretty much each and every day. Most of this rain not actually hitting the ground. There have been a few showers out to the west. I will say down in central Texas, we actually do have some stronger storms kind of moving toward the Waco and Temple area at this point. Small hail is mainly the threat with these storms. They are pushing off to the northeast, but they're going to continue to weaken as they move to the northeast. So just heads up to some of our southeastern counties, Navarro County, Henderson County, Anderson County, where we'll watch for these storms to approach as we head through the next couple of hours. But most of us just kind of looking gray. We've got warm temperatures sitting in the 60s and low 70s. We have those breezy south winds. We got some things to talk about over the next 24 to 48 hours. Cold front arrives tomorrow, which is going to bring the chance for some stronger storms. We're going to talk about that, but also some much cooler weather. We've got a cloudy and wet extended forecast with almost every day in the seven day forecast featuring at least a 20% chance for rain. So we take a look at tonight's forecast. 20 to 30 percent chance. I've got those isolated storm chances as we're watching that cluster of storms down to the south. So here's 7 o'clock. You've got temperatures in the upper 60s. Still, most of us are storm free. Mostly cloudy skies by 9 o'clock, even 11 o'clock this evening. Temperatures in the mid 60s. I do want to talk about that temperature trend though, because if you are going to be out tomorrow, this is going to hit you once that cold front arrives. So heading into this evening, we're still very mild, sitting in the mid 60s. Here's 7 30 in the morning. We've got low to mid. 60s across North Texas, but look up to the corner of your screen. I don't even have to put the cold front symbol because you can just see that cooler air making its way into North Texas. So 11:15 in the morning tomorrow, we've got temperatures for some. Notice Dallas and Fort Worth in the low 70s. We've got Hillsboro sitting at 69, Terrell sitting at 71, and then out to the west, you've got 46 in Graham, 53 in Bowie, 51 in Gainesville, 50 in Bridgeport. This cold air moves in quickly. We are much cooler, 40s and 50s by 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and we are expecting temperatures. We actually could be looking at a record low as we head into Saturday morning. It's going to be 15 to 20 degrees cooler than where we should be for this time of year as we head into tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, just again, mid upper 60s in the morning, even low 70s for some by lunchtime, and then that major cool down with the possibility of a few stronger storms as well. The better threat for these strong storms tomorrow is going to be in central Texas, where you see that slight threat in yellow, but we do have a marginal risk even for parts of the Metroplex with large hail and damaging winds being the main threats. Much cooler as we head into Saturday. We still have a 50% chance for rain on Saturday, 30% chance for showers and storms on Sunday. Temperatures will be back into the low 70s. We're back into the 80s for early next week, even close to 90 degrees by Wednesday. But Wednesday is the only day that does not have rain in the forecast. 